Buddy, thanks for coming out on this nice Friday. Seems like we got a beautiful start to our day. Um, as we all know, we're coming into 4th of July week and we've seen a lot of fireworks already. And so it's best for us to just get started with our, our annual 4th of July presser where all the city agencies come together to talk about some of the hazards that we're seeing, some of the safety recommendations as we're building up into this week. My name's JD Chisholm, spelled J-D-C-H-I-S-M. I'm a captain with the Denver Fire Department. First of all, from the fire department side, as you would expect, we're seeing a lot of dry with the heat that we've had a lot and we haven't seen a lot of water. And so uh, as, a, as a first reminder, as we're getting into the 4th of July weekend, we know that fireworks are illegal in the city and county of Denver. They've been illegal for a long time. That continues to be the case this year. And we are echoing the same that our partners with Denver police are gonna be saying that fireworks are illegal in the city and county of Denver. Now, the things that we're seeing are we see people playing with their fireworks, letting them off, but because of the dryness, we're seeing that the sparks will reach out and we'll get grass fires that we've seen already this year. One thing that's regular that we see every single year is as people are disposing of those fireworks, they throw them away as they're still hot, which will lead to a trash can fire as those trash cans are near fences, buildings that can extend into those, which can lead to larger fires and creating a lot of uh, unnecessary problems for the, the homeowners and the residents leading to safety problems. The next big piece that we always see that leads up to it with, with fireworks are the hazards to the people that are playing with them leading to medical emergencies. Uh, for, for the medical emergency piece, what I'll do is I'll pass that over to Jay with Denver Paramedics and he can talk about the things that Denver Paramedics are seeing on a regular basis, some of the emergency things that they're taking care of. So Jay with Denver Paramedics. Thanks, Jay. Hi, my name is Jay Starzynski. It's J-A-Y-S-T-A-R-Z-Y-N-S-K-I. I'm a lieutenant with the Denver Health Paramedics. Uh, thank you to my colleagues from Denver Fire, Denver Police, Denver 911, Denver Animal Protection, and Denver Parks and Recreation. Uh, on behalf of the Denver Paramedics, I want to make sure the people of Denver uh, can enjoy the rest of summer and celebrate this holiday weekend uh, both safely and responsibly. A couple things to remember while you're out and about in the sun. Um, drink plenty of fluids, stay hydrated, protect yourself from the sun. If at any point in time uh, you start feeling overexposed, this could be uh, heat exhaustion, which is common when you're out in the sun for long or extended periods of time. Um, if you start to feel dizzy or unwell, uh, seek shade, drink more fluids, sports drinks or water is probably the best, or get into, inside to an air conditioned uh, building. If you yourself experience these symptoms or you're finding someone who's nauseated, uh, dizzy, they seem to be overly affected by the heat, that's probably um, more like heat stroke, which is a serious emergency, and I'd suggest that you call uh, 911. JD pointed out fireworks illegal in the city and county of Denver. Um, we all like our hands and our fingers. Fireworks can lead to uh, catastrophic injuries to both your hands, fingers, and your limbs. It can also uh, cause damage to uh, both vision and hearing. So a good rule of thumb is just to leave the fireworks uh, to the professionals. For the adults out there while you're supervising children over the holiday weekend, um, a couple things look out for and keep an extra eye on the kiddos when they're at swimming pools, uh, barbecue grills, uh, open flames, and especially if they're using or handling uh, fireworks. Um, I guess the overarching theme for the entire weekend uh, would be if you are going to uh, use alcohol or marijuana to do so responsibly. They can have detrimental effects both from an injuries uh, perspective and also from a, a hydration perspective. Um, be safe, enjoy the weekend uh, responsibly. I'll hand off now to my uh, other colleagues. Good morning, my name is Officer Elias, that's E-L-I-A-S with Denver Animal Protection. And I'm joined here by Sparkle. Um, we just wanna remind Denver's pet owners that 4th of July is one of the most stressful and dangerous holidays for pets and humans alike. Um, so during this 4th of July weekend, we wanna encourage pet owners to keep their pets inside at home where they're safest. Make sure to put on music or TV to drown out loud fireworks. Never leave your animal in a hot car. Keep your pets at home. Please do not bring them to parades or firework displays. 
And importantly, please license and microchip your pets and make sure that they have their collars on this weekend in case they go missing. In the event that you do lose your pet, please make sure to check your neighborhood Facebook groups, the Ring app, Nextdoor, etc. If you find a pet, please also post in those places because chances are someone's looking for their animal. And if you have an animal related issue or emergency, please don't hesitate to contact Denver Animal Protection. Our phone lines are answered 24 7, even on holidays. We can be reached at 720-913-2080. And with that, I'm going to pass it off to Denver 911. That puppy is a very hard act to follow. Uh, my name is Andrew Dameron. I am the director of Denver 911. And despite all the wonderful advice that my colleagues have given to the residents of Denver, we know from past experience that many of your neighbors are going to elect to set off fireworks anyway. The ask that I have of all of you, that my team has of all of you, is to not dial 911 with a fireworks complaint. Please reserve 911 for life or death emergencies, to report a fire, to save a life, or to stop a crime. If you do need to call us to report the use of illegal fireworks, my ask is that you dial the non-emergency number. That number is 720-913-2000. 720-913-2000. Our new smart IVR will give you the option uh, to either leave a voicemail that will be reviewed by the team at Denver 911, or it even gives you the option to text you a link to make your report online. The easiest and most efficient way to report illegal fireworks is online at denvergov.org slash report an issue. But like I said, if you call us on the non-emergency line, the smart IVR, excuse me, sorry, will uh, text that information to you uh, so that you can make that report quickly, efficiently, and then you're not bogging down the 911 system and potentially preventing somebody who does have a life or death emergency from getting through to one of the call takers. Thank you very much, and I'll pass it off to Stephanie with Parks and Rec. Good morning, everyone. My name is Stephanie Figueroa, S-T-E-P-H-A-N-I-E-F-I-G-U-E-R-O-A, -E -E and I'm with Denver Parks and Recreation. So I just want to remind everyone, our parks are one of the most beautiful resources we have here. Our open spaces is, of course, why what makes Denver so beautiful. So we just want to protect them and remind you all that with the upcoming 4th of July holiday, it's really important to remember that open flames and fireworks are not permitted at Denver parks um, unless they are in a grill. So um, just reminder to just stay away from, from fireworks and, and open flames and parks. If you happen to be a resident that lives near a, an open space managed by the city and county of Denver, you are permitted to mow uh, uh, your parkland adjacent up to three feet uh, buffer between your property and the parks maintained by um, by Denver Parks. So uh, just remind everyone, uh, please keep uh, take care of our parks. They're a beautiful resource that everyone enjoys. So um, be safe this 4th of July holiday. And now I will turn it over to DPD. Good morning, I'm Officer Isabella Cervantes. I'm one of the community resource officers out at District 2. First off, on behalf of the Denver Police Department, we want to wish everyone a happy and a safe 4th of July holiday, and we encourage everyone to celebrate responsibly. If you do plan to travel around the city and county of Denver this weekend and into the holiday, please ensure that you are sober or that you have a sober driver. And please do not overconsume alcohol and or marijuana. We want everyone to know that it is illegal to possess, store, sell, manufacture, handle, or use fireworks in the city and county of Denver. Penalties for these violations include up to $999 in fines and or court costs and up to one year in jail. As always, do not fire your firearm in the air, even in a celebratory manner, because this can be very dangerous to not only the people that are around, but also the surrounding community. The Denver Police Department encourages everyone to refrain from lighting fireworks as it is not only dangerous to the person lighting them, but also causes many issues to the neighborhood and the surrounding community. And as previously mentioned by Denver 911, to report fireworks, please call 720-913-2000. Unless they're an emergency, then please call or text 911. You can also report fireworks online at denvergov.org forward slash 311. 
If you do report fireworks, please provide as many details as possible, also while keeping safety in mind. These details include age, height, weight, and a clothing description of the person or people lighting off the fireworks. And we want everyone to understand that if you do witness someone using fireworks, that we will need you to be si willing to sign the complaint on that for officers to take action. Officers can cite without a complainant only if the officer actually witnesses that person violating the firework ordinance. So that's why it's imperative that when you call 911 to report fireworks, um, that you do say that you're willing to sign the complaint for that. Um, and with that, again, we want to wish everyone a happy and safe 4th of July holiday. Thank you. So again, we just want to we want to echo everybody with the city and county of Denver want to wish everyone a happy 4th of July. We would like everybody to enjoy themselves, have fun, but please do it safely. Are there any questions for myself or any of the agencies here with the city? I know the viewers are going to ask if Sparkle's up for adoption anytime soon. <laughs> That's what everybody's going to ask. Sure. Is Sparkle's going to be up for adoption? Sparkle is in foster and needs to be some more. <laughs> Sparkle will be up for adoption probably in the next month or so. She is a little bit underweight and needs to spend some time in foster before we put her up for adoption. And she does have a sister as well. It's clearly the best question, for sure. Oh, that's what I was thinking. Yeah. Um, also, you know, we did a story earlier this week where apartment complex was um, saying that sparklers and poppers were re uh, reason to uh, like evict somebody. So I guess kind of go, can you go over the what's kind of legal and what's not legal? All fireworks are legal. So as far as what's allowed for an apartment complex to be evicted, that's not for us to say. No, but, I mean, but everything from your sparklers, which seem like the most mundane of fireworks, poppers, everything that is related to fireworks that can be identified as fireworks are legal in the city and county of Denver. Can residents who are not lighting off fireworks do any prevention uh, for their homes, for their safety? It's always smart to have a plan, you know, so if you are concerned that your neighbors are lighting off fireworks, make sure that you know where your hoses are, make sure your hoses are connected. If you're increasingly worried about your dry grass, your, your vegetation around your property, run your sprinklers, once it gets cooled down a little bit, you know, running your sprinklers in the, in the heat of the day is never the greatest idea for your lawns. So just on a green thumb land, you know, side of it, you don't necessarily want to be running it midday, but right it, run those sprinklers in a way that they can cool off and, and create some water protection for your property. Thank you. A lot of people hear of fireworks injuries and they're like, I've been using fireworks all my life. It'll never happen to me. But like how many injury calls do you usually get a year, like approximately from fireworks? It's hard to say how many per year we get, but it's a regular basis. So starting mid-June all the way through July and into August, uh, Denver Fire, Denver Paramedics, we continually run those injuries, whether it be fingers, hands, arms, facial injuries. It's a very common thing. So for somebody to say it's never them, uh, understood. We've all wanted to play. We've all been in that situation where we wanted to play with fireworks. Uh, it's always never you until the time that it becomes your time. It's life altering injuries a lot. It is. And you know, whether it's whether it's fingers or eyeballs, those things can change your life forever. Good. Thank you for coming. <laughs>